This was genuinely probably the cringiest clip I've ever seen. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and oh boy. If you haven't seen the last video, I got a new toy. People are saying I'm going to die because I bought something very dangerous. Go check it out. Anyways, today we're going to be taking a look at some car scene TikTok cringe. I don't know if this falls into TikTok cringe. It's probably posted on TikTok, but we're looking at it on Instagram because I know how to work Instagram. I'm still pretty new to TikTok. I do have one. If you want, go follow it. Probably don't, though, just because I hope that app gets destroyed anyways. Today, though, is the reason why I want that app to get destroyed. Social media has ruined the car scene. I hate it. If it wasn't such a vital point of having, like, a channel, then I would not have social media. Unless it was just to look at memes that my boys sent me. Or I don't know if it happened to anyone else, but you guys remember that phase, like, a month ago when you would just open up Instagram and you would just see people die? That was crazy. Today, we're not looking at that, though. Anyways, if you see any TikTok cringe, send it to me. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, first one. It just says Big Buddy. I don't know what that means. So let's take a look at his build. <laughs> and how do you intend to kill us? Oh, no, I can't kill you. But my buddy can. Say hi, buddy. Isn't that and the same you... car? Isn't isn't that literally the same car? That shit was too loud in my headphones. I'm turning that shit way down. He just changed the wheels to like off-road wheels, which would make your car actually slower. It's it's literally the same car. I don't think this guy understands how the trend works. The trend is like you have a slow car, but your homeboy has a fast car. I guess this guy just has no friends, which I mean, cruising around in a car like that. Yeah, I could see why that might be the case, honestly. I don't know if he's going for a Mad Max salvage title looking build, but that's that's the look he's definitely acquired here. It definitely looks like uh, it fits that criteria. Like, I think Mad Max and just salvage title style builds look great on, like, older Hondas, you know, when they have, like, rusted panels and stuff like that. But, like, a 2015 WRX? I, I don't know, man. I, I personally wouldn't want mine to look like it's worth negative money on Kelly Blue Book. I do like the off-road spec, like, wheel setup that he has. The, the, these weird fucking dog dish wheels, not a fan of that. Not not a fan of the satellite dishes he got attached to his wheels. If you if you got DirecTV, this dude came up on your fucking satellite. Let's just say that. The off-road wheels do make it look a bit cooler, just because I always wanted to do this to my Subaru while I still had it. Sadly, that car was a piece of poop, so it never got around to it. But I, I remember telling Alma, I was like... One day, I'm going to max out the coilovers up and throw some off-road wheels on it. And she said, no, you're an idiot. You're going to break my car. And uh, the car broke itself. It didn't even want to go along with that plan. Anyways, yeah, this is just a uh, salvage title. Let's move on. Ooh, cool. A lot of downforce on some cool cars. We got the Versa. And I don't know what the hell that thing is in the background. Because this cool Versa is blocking it. It says, don't blink. All right, I'll try not to. I have a feeling after watching this, though, I'm going to want to glue my eyes shut. So it'll be virtually impossible to blink after that. Let's take a look. That was it. That was that was it. That was it. Just a shitty montage of two Nissan Versas. Daniel, who hasn't been on the channel in a while, he actually used to have one of these Nissan Versas. And we did clap it out on purpose. We didn't quite make it look like this because... We weren't stupid enough to spend real hard-earned money on a car like this. But we did throw a turbo whistle on it. And it was funny because when he gave it to his little sister, it still had the turbo whistle. Up until the day she crashed that car, it had the turbo whistle. So there's a Versa out there in a salvage yard somewhere with a turbo whistle. And uh, that's ours. That was ours. Anywho, customizing normal-ass traffic like this, some NPC cars, which the Versa is 100 hundred percent an npc car if you haven't ever seen the inside of a versa imagine like a mcdonald's playpen but turned into an interior like it feels that cheap like th there's there's no luxury going on in there it, it's not a pleasant place to be you know driving around in a versa is a clear sign that you need to get your shit together that's the only way i can explain it Daniel upgraded, though. I will say, Daniel had the Versa. It was his first car his mom gave him. And then he went out and bought a uh, BMW. So, good for him. Right now, I think he's cruising around in like a 235 or something like that. Very cool car. Very fun. Sadly, he's busy with work and school. So, he never really has time to come hang out. But regardless, Versas. Don't modify them. 
you're just hurting your trade in value when you want to get the the next best thing. I mean, honestly, the, the, there's only up from here. The the only thing worse than a Versa is like a, an Uber membership. Does Uber even have memberships? Honestly, though, if it was between an Uber membership and driving around one of these, I would choose the Uber membership. It's more, I got more dignity riding around in an Uber than this. Let's read the comments. Oh, the comments are disabled. Oh, respect all builds. Ah! Grow up. Not everyone has to like your piece of shit car. That's just the reality of life. This video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber. By now, you guys know everything about them. You guys know I run their uh, carbon fiber phone case every day. I also have their carbon fiber wallet. Here you can see they have so many options of different wallets. It's not just the one I always show you guys. They have forged carbon. They have full face wallets. They have minimalistic wallets. They have just about anything you guys could want in carbon fiber. I'm looking to get some eyewear from them as well, just because I always wear sunglasses in my videos. It would be kind of cool to have some carbon fiber eyewear. Let me know which style you think fits me the best. But if you guys are interested, there is a 30% off April Fool's flash sale on their wallets right now. So go check out their whole website, pick up a wallet, pick up one for you and your friends. They sell cool stuff that I know you guys would like. So go check them out in the link down below. Thank you, Simply Carbon Fiber, for sponsoring this video. All right, next clip. Me at it again, hashtag trend, trending, hashtag trend again, just in case the first one didn't register, hashtag trending reels, hashtag trending songs, trending now, JDM, WRX, VBTS, Subi, Subi Gang, and Subi Flow, and all that for 15 likes, <laughs> uh, you got you got more comments saying my name than anything else, let's, let's take a look, I, I don't even remember this one, but let's take a look, me getting down to this trending, what? Okay, so, so we got a high school dropout here. Doesn't know how to form a sentence. Me getting down to this trending. Okay. Oh my god. This is worse than I remember. Oh my god, dude. That was... This was genuinely probably the cringiest clip I've ever seen. Like, I don't... Like, the other stuff that we looked at today and in general, like, this is, like, whatever. Like, right? Like, these guys are just making a clip of their cars. Who cares? I really don't care, right? Like, same with this. Like, this guy's just making a short reel of his car. It's his car. I just, like, poking fun at people. It's not that serious. Genuinely, this has to be one of the most painful things I've ever witnessed a grown man do. This this genuinely makes me want to move out of this country. That, that's Oregon? I ain't going to Oregon. Oregon's a different breed of people up there. This dude posted up in a parking lot his phone's on the floor i'm guessing leaning up against a pillar like this put on an alien mask and said yeah i'm about to hit this shit right here and just started going to town on that shit oh, that's painful that's really bad how are you not embarrassed that shit's so corny well the only 15 people have liked it oh how many people have seen it oh it's got a lot of comments though he commented on it himself he just put nice it ain't too early to delete this. I know it only has 15 likes and it's only been a almost, no, it has been a month. It's been a couple of weeks. You could probably delete this. I mean, it'll forever be on my channel now, but uh, this is definitely, ain't, you ain't getting no bitches in this thing. <laughs> Not with this clip out there. I'll do you a favor. Delete this and any remnants of this. Maybe make a new profile. Maybe move to a different state. And maybe you'll have a chance to, uh, you know, get some putang. Genuinely, that is, uh, don't do that. That is, I, I think we can all agree this is corny as hell. My eyes are bleeding. That's painful. Go return the alien mask too, man. That's evidence. You want to get rid of that shit too. Does he have more of stuff like that? I'm really curious because that was, that was bad. He ain't even moving. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this would be okay if you were like kind of driving, but in a parking lot acting like you're driving and just singing along to a song. Yeah. No way you recorded this and thought, yeah, I'm going to post this. Dude, we can, okay, maybe we'll make a whole video on this great-ass car content in the future. Let me know if you guys want to see it. Anyways, next clip. Sick! Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to leave in that awesome song, but I just want you to know, not only will your eyes bleed, but your ears will bleed too. I don't know what kind of song that was. Maybe it's just something that we don't understand here in the U.S., but 
that was honestly just as bad as this car. That being said, what the fuck did bro film with? The aspect ratio is like one by three. What is this? Dude filmed with a fucking noodle. Why is the aspect ratio so fucking bad? We haven't even got to the damn car yet. I, I, what is it? It's a Nissan? It's an Infiniti? What is this piece of shit? Let's look at the back. I don't even know what the back is. It ain't no GTR. I'll tell you what. That front end definitely ain't no GTR. Is it like an Altima? I don't know. I've honestly like toned down how much like I don't like stance cars because there are very clean examples of them. So before I tear into this guy's ass, there are very clean examples of stance cars. I'll show you a couple just so you know that I don't hate stance cars. I hate idiots. There's a clean stance car. There's a pretty clean stance car. A little bit too much camber for my taste, but at least it's not this or this or this. There's a pretty clean stance car. And there's another pretty clean stance car. This one might have been my favorite. Still got camber, but it complements the body. It's not just sticking out just for fuck all reason. So I want you to know, while I'm tearing into this dude with no lube, why I'm tearing into this dude. Because this is just straight up, look at me, I need attention, clout car. And it's not even a good looking car. Like, not only can you not go through any drive through probably with those wheels sticking out like that, but you can't even park this really anywhere. It literally serves no par purpose. It looks stupid, and that's the only purpose. I wonder, what's the translation say? Super blasting, I know if the road is uneven. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you do, dude. You're the one making it uneven. You're chewing up that shit. Like, not only did you turn this car into, like, a wannabe hovercraft, because it doesn't even look cool while it's driving. It looks kind of sad. But then you put on the fake GTR front end. Like, just admit it, man. You can't afford a GTR. True, but he, he's, he built something better. He built something unique, one of one. No one's going to have something like this. Nobody wants something like this. If you could have this or an actual R35, sure. You want to stance out the R35? Go for it. But would you rather have the R35 or this fucking piece of shit? I'm sure you would take a stock R35 compared to this. Even if it was from 09, who gives a fuck? Bro thinks he will be accepted into the Stance Nation community. See, even the Stance Nation people don't even like this. This is too much. This ain't cool. Don't do this. I think most of you guys are smart enough to not do this, but it's just it's just corny, man. Car's lame as hell. Wheels are cool, though. I will say, I do like the wheels. Whatever. You get one compliment. Rest of the car, garbage. Burn it down. Fuck. That hit a little too close to home. Anyways, moving on. All right. Next car. Help me install my new good scoop. Okay. I really hope this is, like, satire. I really, really do hope that this is satire. Like, the last clip put me in my grave, but this clip blew out my brains. Like... I didn't even know they made stuff like this. I wonder if he just like cut this out of tint or what. It's also funny because he, he installed it incorrectly the first time. He's installing it twice. Like if you look look how far he is away from the, the hood line, okay? I don't know, what is that, a foot and a half? A foot maybe? Look at how close he is now. Six inches. So he actually fucked up once. So he had two of these laying around. Fake hood scoops are notoriously bad because they just sit on your hood and they, they stick out and they actually probably create a little bit of drag. At least this one. This one's at least flush. It just looks stupid. Like there ain't nobody on this face of this earth that would see this and be like, oh, he's got a, he's got a hood scoop. I don't think they would understand what it's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's satire, so whatever. But um, I got a few people tagging me in it. So yeah, there you go. All right, next clip. My little shit box still be breaking necks. Ah ha ha ha. For you, Paige, Honda Civic, Washington. Oh, so he's in a Honda Civic, huh? Let's take a look. So... I don't know how I'm going to be able to edit it so you can understand what's going on, but he's blasting music in his Honda Civic as he pulls up to a red light. And ironically, he looks over at the Honda Pilot 2, I guess, technically breaking his own neck for some regular ass traffic. Like, there you go. Looking broken neck right there. He's looking around to see if people are looking at his piece of shit, 
which of course he's pulling up blasting music so no fucking shit they're gonna turn and look at what car is producing that awful audio and it's his car so i i don't, I don't think i don't think your car's breaking next i think your music is breaking next they're probably saying damn bro fuck turn that shit off man that thing sounds like ass your fucking speaker system sounds like you got it at harbor freight man fuck does he have a picture of his car i don't know i kind of want to check I want to see if it would if it would break my neck because well we're only seeing the interior and it looks bone stock besides his aftermarket steering wheel so let's take a look really quick so it must be this this NPC have an ass Honda Civic yeah that that shit wouldn't wouldn't break anybody's neck I'm just gonna let you know right now they were looking over to see what god awful car was playing that trash ass music sorry to burst your little bubble homie anyways jokes on you you broke your neck first ha <laughs> ha all right moving on last clip the worst donut ever Let's take a look. This is RTK, and I'm attempting to do a donut. Well, at least we know this idiot isn't going to any takeovers anytime soon. That had to have been probably the worst donut I've ever seen. The combination of the sparks coming off of the rear wheels, which is just a bad idea to do a donut with anyways, but that and the not knowing how to turn off fucking traction control. This dude ain't attending no fucking takeovers. At least not if he's driving. That's embarrassing right there. You still filmed this and said, yep, I'm posting this. I'm posting this right now just to get laughed at in your 5.7 hemi this dude screams 5.7 owner not only did he not buy the scat or the hellcat at least get the scat bro not only that but dude doesn't even have enough money to fucking change his goddamn tires maybe that's why he was trying to do a burnout but doing a burnout on tires already showing wire to that extent too like that's dude looks like he's got a sparkler taped underneath his bumper that's just dangerous. That thing is going to blow up and destroy your whole quarter panel. You got to be careful about that. I know we've all seen the clips of that shit happening. Don't let that shit happen to you. I have a feeling, though, in all honesty, he was just doing donuts just to burn what remains of these tires. Sadly, there is nothing to remain on those tires. And it seems like he is very familiar with not turning off traction control because only his left tire is showing sparks, which is how it's going in this video when he's trying to do donuts. So I have a feeling he's never figured out how to turn off traction control. I guarantee that right tire still has 75% health left. God, some people, they just shouldn't have cars. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Uh, subscribe and send me more cringe. We all love cringe, right? Anyways, tag me, subscribe, and until next video, peace.